and welcome to this webinar where I'll be showing you how to create your own internet radio station with Radio King in just a few minutes. Radio King is a turnkey solution that allows anyone to create and broadcast their own radio station worldwide. We currently host over 3,000 radio stations in more than 120 countries. Whether you're a professional, an association, a company, school or individual, Radio King is for everyone. We can also help you create your own website, your mobile application and even your Alexa skill if you want to be heard on Amazon's connected speakers. We can quickly become essential to your project. But before that, we're going to focus on creating your own internet radio station. It may seem complicated when you look at online forums or blogs, but rest assured, I'll be explaining everything in this webinar. Are you ready? Let's get started. With Radio King, there are two ways that you can broadcast worldwide. In automatic mode, when you schedule your content to broadcast on a certain day at a certain time, or in live mode, when you want to speak directly to your listeners. For example, you could schedule your broadcast automatically during the week and do live broadcasts on weekends when you have more time. Then, everything you want to broadcast is sent to our servers and we take care of sending everything back to your different mediums. So, for example, your social networks or your website. It all depends on how you want to share your radio. A quick side note for FM stations that also want to broadcast over the internet. All you have to do is stream the audio that comes out of your mixing desk using a physical or software encoder and stream live without going through the automatic broadcast. Now, let's get down to business and see how to use the Radio Manager. So, we're now on the Radio King website. You can click on Test for free to try the Radio Manager for 7 days, no commitment. We're going to start by choosing a name for our radio station. So I'm going to put Chill Radio. Once the startup quests are finished, you'll arrive in the Share tab. I suggest that you go to the dashboard and turn off your radio so that you can prepare it before broadcasting. In your dashboard, you'll find various information about your radio station. You'll see real-time statistics, what's currently being broadcast on your radio station, your ranking in the Radio King directory, and the number of subscribers on your radio page, which we'll discover later on. You'll also find the number of monthly listening hours. To help you better understand how listening hours work, here's an example. If one person listens to your radio station for one hour, and another person listens for 30 minutes, one hour and 30 minutes will be deducted from your total number of listening hours. Your total number of listening hours will depend on the radio offer you choose. At the beginning of each month, your listening hours are set back to their total. Underneath, you have the amount of disk space left in your media library. This space fills up according to the number of files you import. To give you a rough idea, 5 gigabytes corresponds to approximately 1,250 files of around 3 minutes each. We're now going to head over to the media library to add content to our radio. Before starting, you can see that there are still a few tracks that we added during the startup phase. To delete them, simply click on the covers, then on the three dots at the top next to Add to a Playlist, and then on Delete Permanently. Confirm and your titles will be deleted. You can now add your own files by clicking on the Add Tracks button. Select the songs you want to upload. You can minimise the download window while your tracks are importing and do something else in the radio manager while you wait. We're now going to take a look at the different trays in the media library. The first tray, which is the main one, is the music tray. As its name indicates, it's where you add your music. If you don't schedule anything to broadcast in your planning, the radio manager will randomly broadcast files from this tray as fillers to ensure that something is always playing on your radio. The identification tray is intended for short files such as your jingles, your hourly announcements or your sweepers, for example. The recording tray allows you to stock your pre-recorded shows or your podcasts. The advert tray is for your adverts. The audio shout-out tray is where you'll find audio dedications sent by your listeners thanks to the widget available under the Share tab. Remember that this feature is only available for pro and business offers. The radio manager will only use content from your music tray as fillers on your radio station. This means that the content in your other trays will only broadcast if you schedule it to. 
Once your tracks are imported, you'll be able to classify them by alphabetical order or by upload date. This function is super useful when you want to add new top hits to your media library and delete any music that has already been broadcast several times. You can also filter your tracks according to several criteria thanks to the small funnel next to the search bar. So here, I want to see all the titles that last less than four minutes. I'm going to apply the filters and I'll see all the songs with this criterion appear. To remove the filters, just click on the funnel again and click on Reset Filters. You can edit your titles by hovering over your file and clicking on the pencil. For example, my title here isn't displayed correctly, so I'm going to rename it and change the artist. Once all your songs have been edited, you can tag them to find them even more easily, especially by style. To do so, simply select them and click on Tag Titles. Give a name to your tag, so I'm going to tag all my rock titles, and click on Add. You can also edit the tag by clicking on it. This will allow you to change its name or colour. Thanks to my tag titles, I can now create a playlist with all my rock songs. For this, I'm going to click on New Playlist and choose a name and a colour. I want my rock titles, so even those that I'll tag in the future, to be automatically added, so I'm going to create an automatic playlist. As my criteria, I'm going to put all the songs with the rock tag. After saving, you'll see your automatic playlist create itself. For a more professional rendering, it's important to edit the mix points of your songs. This feature allows you to better manage the way your titles will follow one after the other. Simply click on the three dots next to your track and select Edit Mix Points. You can calculate your mix points automatically, but I'm going to show you how to do it manually just in case the automatic calculation doesn't suit what you want. Let's play the intro and see what it sounds like without any changes. Okay, the title starts a little too abruptly for my liking. I'm going to add a fade in so that the maximum volume comes in slowly, just as the singer starts his verse. Let's listen to the intro again. Much better. We're now going to set up the extra. Here's what it sounds like with no modifications. To create a nice transition, I'm going to add a fade out. To be sure that it goes well with the next track in alphabetical order, I'm going to test it with Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So that sounds good to me. Once you're happy with your mix points, click on Submit. In order to be able to explain the planning as fully as possible, I've added some files and created two more playlists. There's a new jingle in the identification tray, a talk show in the recording tray, a goodnight playlist where you'll find tracks with a low BPM, and an electro playlist with all of my electro tracks. This last playlist will allow me to create an afternoon broadcast with 40% electro music and 60% rock music. To prepare this, let's head over to Scheduling, Programs. A program is essentially a radio show made up of your playlists. Let's click on Add a Program 
Then give it a name and a colour. We're now going to add four files from the Electro playlist that will be played in random order. To play the 60% of rock music, we just need to add six files from the rock playlist in random order too. I invite you to click on Preview My Program when you've finished. This allows you to check before planning if all the elements are in the desired order. However, this is only a preview, so to know which titles will actually be played, you'll need to check under the daily generation, but we'll get back to that later on. Now that our afternoon playlist is created, we can schedule our talk show and jingle. To do this, let's go to the Breaks tab. Breaks allow you to play a specific file, playlist or programme at a fixed time. Since we want our talk show to broadcast at 7pm, it makes more sense to create a break. As soon as you click on the Add a Break button, a window opens to configure it. Under General, we're going to change our break hour to 7pm. You can choose to interrupt the current music so that the interview broadcasts at 7 on the dot, but I'd rather let the song finish for a more professional outcome. Under Content, we're going to choose a single file, so let's stay under Tracks and type the name of the file. Be careful not to make any spelling mistakes when searching for your content, otherwise the radio manager won't find it. Under Broadcast Days, I'm going to choose the days that my talk show will play. So I want my file to broadcast tomorrow only. After clicking on Add, we can see our talk show appear. We're now going to add our second break for tomorrow, which is our jingle. Unlike our talk show, we want the jingle to play once an hour every day. So the first broadcast hour will be at midnight. Let's change the priority to 10 so that if I add another break at the same time as a jingle, we're sure that our jingle will broadcast first. Under content, let's type the name of our jingle. We're going to take this opportunity to schedule our jingle in advance for the next six months. We're not going to touch the broadcast days because they're all selected by default. As we want our jingle to repeat itself every hour all day long, we're going to head over to the repeat tab, activate the option and leave the settings as they are because they're already correct. Click on add and you'll see all of your jingles appear on the calendar. You can even click on next week to check that your jingles have been scheduled in advance. Now, let's head over to the planning tab for the second to last stage where we'll schedule our programme and playlist. The planning is in the form of a calendar. To schedule my programme, I'm going to click on it. A configuration window will appear. Under General, I'm going to choose the first broadcast day, which will be tomorrow. So that it broadcasts all afternoon, I'm going to start it at 2pm and end it at 6pm. We're going to select a random type of broadcast because we want the rock and electro tracks to be mixed. Under Repeat, I'm going to indicate the broadcast days of my programme, so I want it to broadcast every day until next week. Click on Add. If we scroll down to 2pm, we can see that our programme is scheduled to broadcast. Now, to schedule my Good Night playlist, I'm going to click on it and select tomorrow's date. I want it to start at 11.30pm, and since I only want it to broadcast once, I'm going to click on the magic wand so that the radio manager automatically sets the end time based on the duration of the playlist. I'm also going to schedule it every day until next week. Click on Add, and we can check that it will broadcast at the scheduled time. In order to apply all these changes to the radio station, Let's head over to the Daily Generation tab. We're going to select tomorrow's date and click on Generate Planning so that my changes are taken into account. Let's move on to the verification step. So, we can see that my jingles start at midnight and will broadcast every hour. My Rock and Electro playlist will be broadcast at 2pm. 
we invite you to have at least 200 tracks in your library so that you don't have too much song repetition. Then, the talk show will broadcast at 7pm just after the jingle. Finally, we can see that my good night playlist will start at 11.30pm. Now that everything is scheduled, we can start the radio station. I'm going to wait a few minutes for songs to play so I can show you the history tab. Today, since nothing is scheduled to play, fillers are being broadcast randomly. Here, you'll see all the songs that have been played today. If you broadcast commercial music, the organisation in charge of copyright and broadcasting rights in your country may ask for a history report. You'll simply need to click on Broadcasted Tracks Report, select the dates and click on Generate. We're now in the live section of the Radio Manager, because if you've created your radio project, you may be interested in broadcasting live. Don't forget that you must have either a USB microphone, a USB mixer and microphone connected to your computer, or a computer with an internal microphone. When you go live, your live session automatically takes over from the automatic broadcast in the Radio Manager. When you end your live session, your stream will automatically return to what you scheduled in the Radio Manager. Here's the list of live broadcasting software that are compatible with Radio King. You have an overview of their price, their simplicity level and the level of features included. At Radio King, we recommend Mix as it's the most complete software to date. It's completely free to download, however it is slightly more complex and may take a bit more time to get used to. To connect your radio to a live broadcasting software, you'll need to enter your live login information. Bear in mind that the requested password is the one that you use to log into your Radio King account. In the Team tab, you'll be able to add as many DJs as you want and manage their access rights. The only thing they have to do is create a free Radio King account. If your DJ needs to connect to a live broadcasting software, don't worry, you won't need to give them your credentials they'll be able to log in using their own Radio King password. Now let's move on to the settings. You'll see that this step is crucial for you to gain visibility. We're not going to see all the settings tabs, but we're going to focus on the most important ones. Under General, you'll be able to change the name of your radio station if you wish, as well as the identifier. This identifier will be located at the end of your listening link as well as at the end of your radio page that we'll discover right after. For example, here, I want my listening link to be Chill Radio and not Chill Radio 1. So I'm going to apply the changes and save. Careful, this modification will restart your radio station and therefore cut your stream. Then, you can add a slogan. Creating a jingle with your slogan can also be a great idea. Don't forget to add a logo. It's a must to establish your visual identity. You'll also be able to choose one or more genres for your radio station. Your description is very important for referencing your radio station and search engines and radio directories. The last thing to pay attention to is the time zone, since your planning will be based on it. We're now going to take a quick look at the Radio King platform tab. Here, you'll be able to choose whether or not to appear in the Radio King directory and activate your listeners' comments. To personalise your radio page, I invite you to put a cover picture. Here's what the result will look like. Your listeners will be able to add live comments, follow your news and discover the latest artists that you've broadcast. In the Directories tab, You'll be able to choose if you want to be referenced or not on Orange Radio and Radio Line. The referencing takes 30 days to be set up and it's imperative that you have a description for it to be taken into account. We're now in the Share tab, which, as you can guess, is essential when it comes to sharing your radio station with your listeners. In the first tab, you'll find your listening link. Here, our stream is in 128 kbps, but you can always improve its quality if you switch to a pro or business offer. 
With these two offers, you'll even have access to a mobile optimized stream which is specially designed for mobile use. This stream has a lower quality. However, it will be easier to load if your listener's internet connection isn't as good. Let's now move on to the most aesthetic way to share your radio, the radio player. All you have to do is customize it and then integrate it onto your website. You can choose its main color, so here I've chosen brown, and you can also allow your listeners to buy the current track on iTunes. Once you're done configuring the player, simply save it and generate the code to integrate it directly onto your website. If you have a Facebook page with more than 2,000 likes, you can also integrate your player on Facebook. This will create a new tab. Your listeners simply have to go to the player tab of your Facebook page to listen to your radio. With this player, you'll also be able to set a background color. This is what it looks like on a Facebook page. OK, we're back in the radio manager and we're going to take a look at the statistics tab. Imagine that you've just shared your radio with your listeners and you'd now like to know a little bit more about them. As our radio is a demo radio, I don't really have any nice statistics to show you yet, so I've chosen a different radio station to present them to you. In the live section, you'll have the number of people listening to you worldwide in real time. In the general section, you'll see the number of listeners on your radio as well as their listening time. You can find two types of listeners in your statistics. There's what we call all listeners and unique listeners. To differentiate them, we use their IP address. Let's imagine that a listener listens to your radio 10 times over a period of time from the same IP address. They'll be counted as one unique listener, however, they'll also be considered as 10 separate listenings in the all listeners mode. Remember that the number of all listeners is always higher than the number of unique listeners. In the music section, you'll be able to find the tops and flops of your subscribers who voted via your radio player. In the Listeners tab, you'll be able to see where your listeners are and with which device they're listening to you. I'm now going to show you our different radio offers. We currently have three different offers, no commitment, that you can pay monthly or annually. You'll broadcast 24 hours a day if you want to, but don't forget to pay attention to the consumption of your monthly listening hours. If you see that you have more and more listeners that tune in, I invite you to upgrade your radio offer. The Start Radio offers a listening quality of 128 kbps, which is basic quality on the internet. If your listeners are more demanding when it comes to audio quality, you may want to switch to an offer with HD or HD Plus quality. Our Pro and Business subscriptions allow you to offer audio shoutouts to your listeners and receive a summary of your statistics every week. The advantage of the Business offer is that you get an Android mobile app included. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at contact at radioking.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon on Radio King.